welcome back ladies and gentlemen so we're going to be proceeding with our card tutorials and in this particular lecture I want to be able to illustrate how we can um, use some patterns how we can identify when we identify a certain pattern in our component so that we can uh, lessen the burden of uh, replicating the same components that follow a certain pattern how we can we use the, 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 the powerful option of pattern in our Pro-E or in our Creo to quickly illustrate objects that follow certain patterns. Alright, so I'm going to be using Creo in this case, but the pattern, pattern option we can also find it in Pro-E. It's not going to be much different from how we use it in Creo. It's going to be the same, the same steps in using the pattern so I'm going to be making a part in this case I'm going to be making a cylindrical component a whole cylindrical component and then I'm going to create some holes around it which follow a certain pattern all right so let me sketch from the top plan and let me change this plan to a two-dimensional view let me just select a circle but before I do that before I do that let me just select some center line it is very important also in your constructions that you select some center line just like we did in manual drawing before you draw anything that is circular anything that has got some line of symmetry uh, indicate the line of symmetry or the centers using some center lines to also help you a great deal so now let me select the circle option and I'm going to make two circles two concentric circles I'm not interested in the in the magnitudes or basically in the dimensions of these things so I am going to click OK and then I'm going to be extruding this to get a cylindrical a hollow cylinder that's it and then on this surface I am just going to be making some some holes so I'm just going to be making a hole right here and then I'm going to be extruding it increase this distance to maybe 500 I just want a through hole yes I think I've got a through hole so I want let's say four holes around the cylinder so that is a pattern so I'm going to click uh, the pattern operation still with uh, extrusion number two is highlighted I'm going to click this pattern operation and then I am going to select the dimension to vary in the first dimension okay so let me see how best So I want to I want to be able to make a pattern around a certain axis. In other words, I want to be able to make a number of circles around the central axis of this plane. So I'm going to be selecting the pattern type as axis. You can also select this other. Uh, you can also make a pattern on one face of a component. You can specify the direction and you can input input a number of uh, designs on one on a single face of a component and you can also make a pattern around a certain axis in other words in a revolving manner so this is what i want to illustrate in this case in a pattern around an axis so the first direction i'm going to be selecting uh, 
components in this case. So the command window saying define the pattern center or define the axis around which the pattern is going to be revolved. Okay, all along. So I'm going to be selecting this center. And like I said, I want four circles around, four exact, exact circles around this uh, the center. And hence, if I want four, that means that the angle between these circles are going to be 90 degrees each. So I'm going to be clicking OK. As you can see, I'm having four circles right there. What if I want 10? What if I want 10? Well, let me just put, yeah, just 10. Let's go to 10. So I'm going to be clicking, clicking on, right clicking the pattern option so that I can modify the previous, op uh, previous two, which is the pattern. Edit definition, a very important parameter. Now I want 10. So the angle is going to change to 360 divided by 10. I'm going to click OK. So these are my 10 circles. Great 2 in there. Great 2. You can also make even uh, patterns that are intending inwards, in other words, being offset at a certain distance inwards, a certain radius from the center, still making uh, a pattern in that case. You can do that. Edit the definition again. And let's have the direction to two. Yes. So I now have this kind of a component. These are also ten circles offset at a certain distance from the radius right there. There wouldn't have been any easier way of making this component other than getting hold of the pattern option. All right. So if you want to have a clean display, you can uncheck everything, check the planes, and check the planes, and also clean and uncheck axis displays, so that you can be able to see this component here. Very important parameter, the pattern too. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun creating components that follow a certain pattern. Alright, uh, let me see you in the next videos to come.